Today, we're going to talk about Tim Burton's uh, little uh, publicity fall, uh, <laughs> where he uh, hurt, may have hurt the uh, publicity for his own movie, Miss Pedigree's Home of White Children. Uh, <laughs> So, what's the conversation? What happened? So, the conversation was um, Tim Burton was asked on the red carpet, on some kind of red carpet or some kind of medium. Uh, he was asked as to why most his cast in his movies, why he tends to cast white people. And he referenced, you know, shows like The Brady Bunch and how he grew up in that kind of era. And henceforth, that's the kind of things that he makes. Now, as a writer, you write from what you know. That's true. As a writer, you write from what you know. But as someone that is selling a product, you also have to realize that you're selling a product. So even though you're writing from what you know, you need to realize who your audience is and what you're trying to convey, what you're trying to explain. In a climate where we have a very racially divided uh, communities and we have people having various different opinions about race and and, and police brutality and, and just the whole conversation in general. I think that studios need to really be aware that we're pushing into a diver into regardless of whether we are arguing or disagreeing or agreeing, we're going into the direction of unity. We're going into the direction of mixing everybody together and we're going into the direction where everybody's gonna want to be feel represented in the media landscape. So because people are gonna want to feel and people are going to want to inspire those people that want to be represented and people are going to put their money where their mouth is they're going to put pay for movies that are going to help society that are going to elevate society to a higher sense of understanding um so that is why miss pedigree's children of white children is feels insulting it feels insulting in a climate of this particular situation, regardless, I'm sure that Tim Burton didn't mean it to be insulting, but it just feels insulting to have a movie filled with white people and with white children when it's a movie where you could time travel and these are special, you know, the X-Men, when the X-Men was created, it was created in order to accent uh, diversity and racism and homophobia and various different elements that are were arising throughout the time. And this movie just feels like it's a ripoff, but it, it placed all white children in the situation. Uh, have you read the books? Do you know the books? Now, on the side note is that Samuel L. Jackson does play a main character, and he happens to be a black actor. So, and it's a leading character, and which is pivotal to the storyline. So, that's where we come into that situation. Will I watch it on Netflix? Yes. <laughs> Will I pay to go see it? No. <laughs> because... Of its lack of diversity. That's just my personal opinion. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know. And I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful year. Take care.